Dual carriageways and motorways are the safest and fastest types of road and are really useful when driving long distances. The most common way to enter a dual carriageway is from a slip road, as this allows the joining traffic to accelerate up to speed before merging in with the traffic flow. This can be a challenge for a new driver, as good observation and judgement skills will be needed to stay safe. This video will show how we use a three-step process to join dual carriageways safely, even when the traffic is very busy. Let's take another look at the introduction clip and see how the three-step process works. We should use the slip road to accelerate our car up to a similar speed to the traffic flow, as this will make it much easier to merge into a gap later. The actual speed we get up to will depend on how long the slip road is, the more space there is to merge in, the faster we should go. But on shorter slip roads, we should stay slower in case we need to stop. We should check over our right shoulder as early as possible to see where the approaching traffic is, as it will not be visible in our mirrors yet. We need to judge the position and speed of other vehicles so we can decide where we will merge into the traffic flow. Once we have decided where we will merge, we indicate to the right to make our car more visible and if needed, adjust our speed. We should remember that the traffic on the main road has the priority, so we shouldn't do anything that forces other drivers to react. Sometimes others may change position or speed to help us, but we shouldn't rely on this happening. We use the full slip road to merge in, cancel our indicator and change up to fifth gear. Once on this longer slip road, we use plenty of engine power and accelerate the car up to fourth gear and at least 50 miles per hour. Once up to speed, we look for the end of the grass strip on the right, as this is usually the best time to look over our right shoulder. We see that there is plenty of space behind the white van, so we maintain our current speed to allow him to pass us. We keep an eye on our mirrors, and as we can see no danger, we gently merge into the dual carriageway and continue driving. We join the same slip road as before and accelerate the car up to speed again. We always stay in the left lane unless we are overtaking slower traffic. We check for traffic and see the lorry behind us. We can't force him to move, so we brake gently to reduce our speed and let him pass. We are intending to merge into the gap behind the lorry, but as it passes us, we see that it has changed lanes, so we can merge in as it passes us. We should allow the lorry to complete its overtake, as if we speed up and stay alongside its trailer, we could be in danger. This slip road is much shorter and has a single lane. This will make it harder to merge into the traffic flow, so we keep our speed much slower in case we need to stop. As we steer left, we look to our right and check for traffic. We can see that there is enough space, so we accelerate up to speed promptly and merge into the dual carriageway. We join the short slip road again and stay in second gear 
as this will give good acceleration once we have spotted a safe gap. This time we check for traffic and see there is no safe gap, so we slow right down. Then we spot the lorry moving over for us, so we accelerate the car quickly. We keep monitoring our mirrors in case anything changes and finally merge into the main road. If the traffic is very heavy, we may even need to stop and wait for a safe gap. So remember to assess how long the slip road is, accelerate the car up to the correct speed, check over our shoulder for traffic and merge smoothly into the traffic flow. If you found this video interesting then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. If you would like to help support this channel then please click the Patreon link to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.